Okay, so now we're in the third part of this um, JavaScript PHP um, sliding image gallery uh, and so on. Um, in the first tutorial we did the HTML and we did 90% um, of the CSS. In the second video tutorial uh, we then implemented then um, the hover effects for these buttons and then we collected all of the images by using scan directory in PHP or by showing you how to then hard code uh, the HTML. Okay, um, With everything done on that side and if you've got your gallery looking like this so far Okay, and all of the images, like I said, are, are displaying. So when you come to your page source, you've got like a whole bunch of images displaying uh, like this. Um, then all good. All right. Now we can do the JavaScript side of it. So let's pop over to our code. Let's go to our empty script file. Okay. Um, we need to have jQuery I in our library. All right. Now if you don't have jQuery, let's just show you um, how to get it. All right. So go to jQuery.com. All right and then click download uh, jQuery and so on go to the compressed production copy and copy all of this and then paste it into your jQuery file and so on and then put a script tag okay that's very very quick um, explanation of it alright so um, what we've got to do up here is if I can turn off the caps lock and uh, we want to check um, to see that the document has loaded alright first of all and we're going to use then the document or the ready function to check whether the document has been loaded because we need to attach some um, event handlers to different buttons and in order for us to to attach the event handlers the the browser the document object model needs to see that these objects are actually there in order to attach the event handlers okay so and this will happen with inside this function okay so now we're in we are with inside of there what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of uh, or a few variables we're going to say num images first of all and we're going to set that to, to um, zero then we're going to say current image equals then one all right it's going to be the first image and then we're going to say um, I'm going to say total width is equal to zero this is going to become apparent shortly okay so in the beginning uh, what we will do is we're going to uh, with jQuery we're going to loop round all of the li elements um, that or the li elements sorry all the elements that have a class of uh, gallery dash li and for every single element we're just going to call a function in here an anonymous function and um, all we're going to do is we're going to say num images is plus plus so we're going to count the images there's another a lot simpler way of doing this but um, we don't want current image we want total uh, width and then we want to say plus equals then 480 all right so we're actually adding the width up um, yeah and as we go through yeah that's it that's it for now okay so that's now basically given us the the total number of images that are there and then the total width for all of this so once we have done that we then can then say gallery ul okay CSS and we're going to set the actual width of it and we're going to say width is equal to then um, we'll just say um, here and then we're going to say uh, total width and then just plus that together right I'll show you what what's going to happen right now okay so at the moment um, this if we don't refresh this page because we want to see the actual HTML at the moment the width of the UL that we have is the width is just 480 by 360. Now we want a complete horizontal um, thing that's got all of the image ho images horizontally because we just want to push it, um, it, it across from left to right. Okay, so we want uh, we don't want it to be vertically. We want it to be horizontally. We want to say, okay, push it down a little bit because our gallery mask is only going to show a certain box of that one gallery UL as we slide it along the box is then going to move left and we're going to see another part of the image it's just like kind of like a film a film strip and we're just looking at one one box and someone below it is moving the film strip along and then we see a different part of it now if they move it left or right we see a different bit of it okay so that's what we want to do so we're just setting the width um, to this to the total number of width of all the gallery images alright so we're just plusing it by 480 to give it a total uh, width so let's completely refresh our page 
we can now look that the width of this one box is 51,360 which is incredible okay so let's just zoom right out and you can see here and now when we hover over all of our images you can see that they're all like a film strip now going uh, horizontally um, which is ready for us to then push it margin left and margin right okay just like a film strip okay so that's that's that bit now done now what we want to do is we want to attach um, handlers <coughs> excuse me to our buttons all right these are uh, are our buttons now although we made this little arrow potentially the whole thing on the left hand side and the whole thing on the right hand side um, are our buttons now when we click the right button we want the film strip or the images to move left okay now when we click the left button we want the film strip to move right okay so although the right button should be move right the right button is move left and the left button is move right okay so we're going to say um, in here dot right button dot click function and then we're going to copy this as well and we're going to say then left button so we're going to attach event handlers to these as well dot click now left button uh, or right button sorry is then move left and we're going to copy this and we're going to say then move right these are um, functions which we're going to write in just a second so down here we're going to say then uh, move left and inside of this the basically because we're going to be uh, moving it left we need to know that um, we go into the furthest mo or to the, the the highest number image all right so if current image is less than um, number num images right we know that there's still another space for another image um, to move across okay then uh, we're going to say gallery uh, ul dot animates okay so we're now going to animate it and the first argument for this or the first parameter for this uh, needs to be an object and inside of here we're going to say margin left and then we're just going to say um, as simple as anything we're going to say then minus equals 480 pixels okay and in the second one we're going to animate that over a thousand milliseconds so over one second and then we're just going to say uh, then swing which is basically the only one available we're not going to do any callback function and then after this we're going to say current image plus plus okay so that's really really simple and that's done we're going to then copy the move left and we're going to say move right and we're going to say if current image is more than one okay then we're going to be moving um, we're going to then plus it on okay and we're going to say current image minus minus all right so that's when we click the left button it's going to then move right and click the that one is going to move left okay so we're minusing off let's refresh this see whether we actually get any joy in this okay do we get any errors current image is not defined okay that's because we need to take this out and make it uh, globally available so we're just going to put it up there okay let's now um, refresh this once again okay and as you can see it now moves along we come to left it moves back again and if we go back to the first image it doesn't do anymore all right we go to the right one it moves along just fine okay so that's um, potentially the buttons done now what we need to do is um, just make it work so when you click I'm actually clicking my mouse at the moment click in the center or click on the image completely it moves on as well so we're going to do nothing more than copy the right button one and we're going to say gallery UL okay or actually we'll say um, gallery wrapper so we just allow them to do it on the gallery wrapper and we're calling the same function so there's nothing more that we actually need to write so let's just um, refresh this and when they click in the center it moves on all right so it just moves on the film strip and we go left well there John ah, okay we can't do that we can't do gallery wrapper all right we're just gonna do um, uh, 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 we'll just do gallery mask okay because potentially um, gallery uh, these gallery uh, this left and right button they sit with inside of gallery wrapper and everything sits inside of gallery wrapper therefore we want it on gallery mask because that's sitting beneath it all right so 
just a small, small mistake on my side. Okay, so now it moves on and we go left and it moves left. Okay, now we don't get any worries, all right, because basically the image behind it, that's, that's not, not in the same box. This image is with inside of, this is gallery mask, okay, and the other two buttons, they, they are outside of, they're actually on top of um, gallery mask. So they don't, they don't, if you click on that button, then it, it deals with going left or going right. Um, okay. Okay, so that's that bit done. Um, potentially, this this gallery is now um, finished. There's a few more finer points which you could um, put onto it, like for example, turning this one um, this one um, column off if it can't go further in any left. So um, that would then be done potentially when we say uh, move left. So we're uh, we're pu plusing this on so if, if current image is more than one all right then we know that right it's actually there's another image there so that that left move left button can still be there the, it's the actual left button but we're moving right as such so if you can say here if current image is equal to um, zero in this case sorry if current image is equal to one in this case we're just going to say in here then left button dot uh, we'll just say hide okay else we can then just say whoops and then left button show okay so let's refresh this again and if we move here Okay, the button's still there. Now, if we move back, the button goes. All right. Now we could do the same as well. Now I plan to put this in another um, in another function. Okay. So if num images, so if current images is equal to num images, then we can say right button hide and right button show. Now it would be crazy for me to copy and paste this twice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. Okay. And um, we're just going to say hide buttons and make a function. So every single time there's a click, we're going to check this. All right. So that's now there. Now basically we come back up here. So everything, every single time that there's any click event that's gone on, we're going to say then. Whoops! Don't, sorry, I forgot I completely. Forgot what I called it. Hide buttons. All right. So we're going to come here. We're going to say hide buttons there, and let's then do this like that like that and then like that there so we're going to call it actually on the beginning as well let's come to here okay as you can see the left button doesn't display but when we click the left button is now there when we click the left one the left button goes now we can keep going right and the right button will go if we go 100 and something images okay but I'm not going to um, and it just keeps looping through a whole bunch of times. Um, that's basically it. There's a whole bunch more things which you can do with this one gallery. All right, so don't don't kind of think this is it. Sit down and think about how it is, you, what you could do, when you could do it, and why you could do it. All right, um, because this gallery is very very flexible indeed. This is just like the core basics of of how it's done. All right, this isn't the totally advanced method. It's the basics, it's the fundamentals, you should be able to move on from there. Okay, I'm going to leave the video tutorials there. I hope over the, the three tutorials you've actually learned something. Um, it shows you how to make a slide in image gallery. Um, my name's David Thorne, I'm from Thorne Web Design. You can come and visit all the, the, the tutorials at thornwebdesign.com. Uh, otherwise you can visit me at Facebook, uh, which is facebook.com forward slash thorne design. Uh, otherwise you can come and visit me personally or come and contact me personally on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Thorn Web Design. Um, the best way to contact me is through YouTube. Uh, okay, I will, I do monitor YouTube every single day. Okay, I get messages every single day, therefore I monitor it uh, more than once a day. Um, okay, I appreciate you, um, you listening to this. I hope you learned something and uh, I wish you a nice day.